Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and squirrels, welcome to another For Whom the Die Rolls Battle Report. I'm here with Tim. He's drinking his coffee, because you have to. Uh, we're gonna coffee be playing... is life. Exactly. Uh, we're going to be playing... Well, so is bacon. <laughs> playing uh, 40k today. Almost everything's painted. Except for the terrain, but uh, don't worry about that. Um, any of the terrain that's painted, Tim did, uh, except for that. Anyways, um, God, this is railroading, this is derailing. Is, Gosh, I'll get these intros one day. Um, we're playing 1,500 points. It's a custom scenario that, um, yeah, I guess it's custom. I made it, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Huh. Um, <laughs> for a doubles tournament that's coming up in February that uh, uh, For Whom the Die Rolls is helping put on at our local game store, Beauty Dragon Games and Comics in Oneonta. So, uh, if you're in the area, stop by. It's a team's tournament. It'll be great. It's on their Facebook page. Boom, boom, boom. Sign up. Um, let's uh, check out the scenario, uh, the way the table's set up. We'll look at the armies. Here is my army. Uh, we are running an Iron Warriors detachment. Leading the charge, we have a Demon Prince with wings. Uh, heavily converted to look all mechanized, I guess. Anyways, he's got uh, two Malefic Talons. He is a Demon Prince of Slanesh uh, with Diabolic Strength as his spell. He's got the Intoxicating Elixir and the Flames of Spite Warlord trait. Uh, he's kind of just run up in your face and, and beat the crap out of you. Uh, we've got a Warp Smith off to his side there. Uh, seven Possessed with an Icon of Vengeance. Um, we're going to have the, uh, the guy with the wings be the Icon of Vengeance. <coughs> a Land Raider. Uh, no Chaos Mark, Twin Heavy Bolter, and two Last Cannons, nothing special there. We have a Predator with uh, Twin Last Cannon, and then two Last Cannons. Uh, Defiler, it's got Twin Last Cannon, and, whoop, sorry, that's a Predator. Defiler has a Defiler Scourge and a Reaper Auto Cannon. Um, I know he's got a Heavy Flamer there, but don't worry, that's actually an Auto Cannon. Uh, Forge Fiend, uh, Hades Auto Cannons, and Obliterators in the back. Uh, everything... Nothing has a mark except for the Demon Prince. So that is my 1,500 points of chaos. All right, and here is my 1,500 points of Adeptus Mechanicus. Start off, they are from Forge World. They have the Forge World Stygius 8 rule. And right in front, we have two Tech Priest Dominus, one with a, one with a Eradication Ray and Phosphorus Serpenta and one with a Plasma Culvern and a Macro Stubber. Then we have a unit of three Cataphron Destroyers, all with Phosphor Blasters and Plasma Culverns. Then we have a unit of ten Rangers with an Arcubus and Arc Rifle. And then to the left of the Tech Priests we have ten Vanguard with a Plasma Culvern and Arc Rifle. Behind them we have a unit of six, uh, five Sicaran Rust Stalkers. Then we also have a unit of eleven Fulgrite Electro Priests. Nope. <laughs> and the final elite choice is a Cybernetic Cybernetica Data Smith. And attached to him are two Castellan Robots with Castellan Fists and Cognus and Incendi Incendine Combustors. And then in the very back we have two Onager Doom Crawlers, pretty much copy and paste, Neutron Lasers, Cognus Heavy Stubbers with extra Cognus Heavy Stubbers. And that is my four, my 1500 point, actually 1499, point Admech Army. So this is the table that we're going to be playing on. We have a nice cityscape here. Um, the beautiful painted terrain brought to you by Timothy himself, which, by the way, Tim is Dan's brother. I don't think we said that. So, uh, you know, like brother, like brother. Cheaty, cheaty, ad mech. <laughs> yeah, right? Um, yeah, shut up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is all Dan's, by the way. <laughs> um, so, I'll go over the scenario a little bit for this. Uh, it's called Desecrate the Fetish. So what I was going for here, and haha <laughs> fetish, uh, <laughs> what I was going for here was, um, I have an objective on my side of the table, it's the uh, death mushroom, and Timmy's got an objective up here, it's the life mush 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 mushroom. Jeez, words! Um, anyways, which doesn't really make sense, because Tim is a Nurgle, um, <laughs> Nurgle Admech army here, which, 
is just absolutely beautiful. He did such a good job with these models, if I do say so myself. And I did just say that. So anyways, um, so what's happening is, that is my fetish. It's very important to me. This is Timmy's fetish. Um, it's very important to him. So what's going to happen is I have to keep mine, I guess, intact. And you want to keep yours intact. But I want to desecrate yours because yours sucks. And mine's the best. And vice versa. So uh, we had to deploy this. It's obviously hammer and anvil. Um, we had to deploy our, or place our objective uh, 12 inches up from the short table edge and 6 inches up from each long table edge. So they're not all the way in the back corner, you know what I'm saying? So it makes it a little bit easier for foot slogging armies. Um, so what's going to happen is to destroy a fetish, you need to have a unit um, to have hold it, to hold that objective at the end of two consecutive turns of yours. Not the end of my turn and then Tim's turn, the end of my turn and then the end of my turn again. Um, so let's say my obliterators, obliterators, obliterators get over here and they hold it, they can lose it at the end of Tim's turn, but if I gain it again at the end of my turn, then I still desecrate the objective. Uh, if my objective is okay, I get six points at the end of the game. If my objective is not okay, Tim gets six points at the end of the game. So, and vice versa, obviously. So there's a potential of 12 points there um, at the end of the game, depending on how the uh, fetishes are doing. Um, <clears throat> then there's, you know, obviously First Blood, uh, Line Breaker, and uh, Warlord. And a little special rule that I put in here, every troop choice has objective secured. Um, just all of them. Doesn't matter, index, codex, doesn't matter. They all have objective secured. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's it. Oh, and something chosen from the flyer battlefield role cannot desecrate objectives for obvious reasons. But anyways, let's go through deployment real quick. Uh, I've got my Forge Fiend and my Predator over here. We've got Defiler, and in the back there, I don't know if you can see him, is the Warpsmith. We've got uh, my Warlord hiding, I mean, uh, hanging out back here. The uh, Obliterators are up in the sky. We've got a Land Raider with the Possessed here. And Timmy, why don't you walk me through what you got over here, because I don't know the names of any of these, except for these jerks. All right, so these are the Fulgrite Electro Priests, uh, Skitari Rangers, Skitari Vanguard, Onager Doom Crawler, mm. Tech Priest Dominus, another Onager Doom Crawler, and then my Warlord, which is another Tech Priest Dominus. He's got a giant scythe. Yeah. Awesome. Nurgle like scythes. And then uh, Castellan, no. They're the destroyers. The bre yeah, destroyers. Right? Yeah. Something. Destroyer breaches. These are the Castellan Robots. Uh, they're, they're Data Smith. Yeah. And then Rust Dockers. Awesome. Uh, 1,500 points of Admech going up against 1,500 points of Chaos. Uh, we've got to roll off, see who gets the first turn. I de finish deploy first, so I get a plus one. Timmy, let's see. I get a four. You get a four. Ooh, ooh, ooh. all right. Let's try it again. There's a five to a four. four. I will take first turn. Would you like to try and seize? I will try and seize. Oh. 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 All right. It's going to be Iron Warriors turn one. First things first, we're going to move this lane raider up to about there-ish. Thank you, Mr. Tim. How about I follow with the camera? We're going to move this demon prince on up to about here. And uh, you know what? Let's, let's run him. Excuse me, advance. We'll give him the three extra inches. I'm just going to nudge up to there. We're going to have this uh, Predator move on up to here, and the Forge Fiend is going to sit tight, and I kind of think I want to move this Defiler and the minus one to head, and it's, uh, we're going to have this guy kind of move the terrain and shuffle up this way, and uh, I'm going to grab the Warpsmith out of here, see if I can get that, and have him shuffle up behind him. And uh, now for the Ouch Phase. We're going to go ahead and use a uh, stratagem right off the bat, because Timmy just reminded me that the cheaty, cheaty ad mech are minus one to hit when I'm more than 12 inches away, which I most certainly am. So we're going to take this Predator, and we are going to slam um, a bunch of las cannons into that Dune Crawler, because screw that guy. All right, we got four las cannon shots going into that Onager Dune Crawler. I'm minus one for moving and shooting heavy weapons, and I'm also minus one for shooting at something more than 12 inches away, but plus one because I'm using the Blasphemous Machine stratagem that lets me ignore the moving heavy weapon stuff. So hit on fours. 
And there's two. Hey, there. Ooh. Look at those averages, right? I almost saw those threes. What's your toughness, sir? Uh, toughness is toughness seven. Seven. So we're looking at threes. And we got one, Mr. Tim. And I believe it's a minus four. Let's double check that. Five up in bone. No. So here comes D6 damage. For one, that's a reroll. Look at that. For two, hey, I'm 100% better. This Land Raider is going to shoot his Twin Heavy Bolter into the Electro Priest, because screw those guys. And we're going to focus the Twin Last Cannons on that thing, because we got we got to focus fire here. So uh, starting with the Heavy Bolter, I got six shots, minus one to hit because you're... Stygius 8. Stygius 8. I'm never going to remember that. Uh, so we're hitting on fours. We got four hits. That's not bad. And I'm straight five. Each toughness three, you said? Yep. So three to wound. Uh, three wounds and a minus one good sir. And you tanked them all. I mean, that's cool. No, 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 that's cool. That's not bad. That's right. Last cannons can do something, right? Yeah. Right? Just like they did last time. So we're hitting yeah. our fours. Or not. <sighs> <laughs> so Big Bad Defiler is going to shoot his battle cannon into the Rust Stalkers, and we're going to shoot the auto cannon over into these Rangers. Is that right? Yes. Uh, he moves, so he's at a minus one, and then he's at an additional minus one because you're... Scary to look at. So he is hitting on a six. So we've got the four shots hitting on a six here. Uh, zero. And then D6 shots in battle cannon into the Rust Stalkers for four. I really thought it was going to be a one. Hitting on sixes. For none. Oh, 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 none. Four Twain is going to be shooting at these Rust Stalkers. Uh, he's hitting on fives. He didn't move. He's just uh, can't see them very well. Uh, so we've got, hey, look, sixes. Two of them. And it's strength eight, your toughness three, so that's uh, twos to wound. Uh, we got two wounds, Mr. Tim, at a minus one. Uh, <clears throat> on the Rust Stalkers. Oh. Two five up saves. And is that a six? Six. <laughs> well, I forgot my obliterators, so uh, <laughs> it is. Uh, wow, I did two wounds. Yep. I did two wounds. And the, the whole. Look at all this. I did two wounds. You can't see it because it's. There we go. It was all blurry. But, um, yeah, obliterators are just hanging out. We'll see what they do later. But, uh, Mr. Admac Timmy, turn one. Tentacles? All right, I'm going to do Benediction. I'm going to choose it. I'm going to mm -hmm. do Benediction of the Omnisaya, so I get to reroll ones in the shooting phase. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to start movement. Okay. With the so Electroprosts? The Electroprosts. Is that all? Oh, they only go six? Uh, they go six or eight. I think it might be eight, but I'm not 100% sure. No, six. Know. That's just six. Just six. Just six. So. Boop, 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 boop. They are also going to. Final placement. Oh, we're going to advance. We're going to advance. All right. Oh. For an extra two. Shuffle. 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 But not the truffle shuffle. 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 No, they don't have bellies for that. All right, so we're going to move and advance rest stalkers. So just roll for the dance. Ooh, 12. So they're going 12 inches. They okay. want the uh, obligatory um, oil for the machine gun. <laughs> Since you're going against Iron Warriors. Yeah. Was that a bad joke? A little bit. It was a bad joke. Okay. <laughs> oh, and the robots. Advance. Advance. Ooh, geez, 13. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. They just want to get up in your face. No, go away. Boom. Yeah. Boom. No. And then. Don't go away. Last but not least, Data yeah. Smith is also advancing. Oh, and geez, 11. He goes 11, so he can stay pretty much right on them. And they are sticking with the Aegis Protocol. Yeah, uh, they only have the Flamers for shooting, so it's not really... It's not, yeah. Yeah, no really point in doing anything else. Um, Anybody else moving? And then... Because <laughs> he wants to be able to see things. Because there's a solid wall right in front of yep. his face. Very solid. So, uh, shooting? Shooting! Alright, so first up is going to be the Catafron Destroyers. I'm going to supercharge these puppies. They are firing at Taylor's nasty predator with all those last cannons. <laughs> these six shots apiece! So that's uh, eight. Shots. Yep. Oh, we should probably do it separately. So, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so assign, uh, just assign them. That'll be fine. So five, two, and one. Or one, five, and two. Yeah. Okay, so. So we'll do it, yep. 
five for this guy. If he rolls a one, he dies, but he gets to reroll one. So we've got two ones. Don't roll ones again. Don't do it. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? <clears throat> and they are hitting on fours. All right, so four hits, and uh, we'll do the next guy. He just has one for nothing. And that guy there for nothing. nothing. All right, cool. Uh, hey, four hits. It's not bad. That's not bad at all. And uh, winning on threes, because I am toughness seven, strength eight. And we got two wounds. That's good. And you're minus three, so I'm at a six up. And I save one. So two damage. Two damage. Puts Mr. Predator at a nine. This dune crawler is going to shoot at this lane raider. He's just in 36 inches for the, what, the, the stubby? The Cognus Heavy Stubbers. Cool. <clears throat> so you want to start with the eradication beamer? Is that what it no, is? No, the neutron laser. Neutron laser. So it's heavy... Heavy D3. Alrighty. Roll it up. One. I like that. <laughs> it's a good start for me. Yep. Uh, skill... Let's go three plus. Three up. All right. Okay. Oh, no, you can re-roll once. Okay. Right? Canicles? Yep, candles. Yeah. And there it is. And I am toughness not five, so three to wound. <laughs> and, oh, do you want to use a re-roll or? Yes. Yeah. All right, cool. So you're going down to five command points. There it is. Cool. And what's the minus on this, my friend? Minus four. Minus four. I don't, no, he's got a two up save. I get a six. <gasps> no. All right. So D6 damage, except a one or a two counts as three. Mm-hmm. So three. Okay. Brings the land raider down to 13 wounds. And what else you got on that thing? Two Cosmos Heavy Stubbers. All righty. Heavy three, right? Yep. Hit on threes. Oh, man. And re-rolling ones? Jeez. That's great. All right. One hit. Or, sorry. One miss. And what's the strength on this guy? Strength four. You might, you probably need a six for this, but once you roll it up, we'll take a look. I see at least two, two but there six. are two fives, so let's check it out. Uh, two two-up saves! And we made a bolt. All right. See, I said you miss every shot you don't take, but it's all right. Anyways, so, uh, what do we got, the next one coming up? Yeah, I got the next one. Where's he going, same place? Same place. Cool. So, heavy D3. Big money, big money. Ooh, that's not good for me. <laughs> Hitting on threes. And we've got one, two, three. And uh, wounding on threes as well, because I'm toughness eight. All one. right. Only one this time. Uh, no, no, it's just one again. So uh, I get a six up save. Oh. Hey! And uh, you got your heavy thingy majigger. Yep, heavy stubbers. Uh, Hitting on threes, we're rolling ones. Uh, two is, I love twos. Twos are great. <laughs> you would love twos. Two is the best. And then uh, winning on sixes. There's one. Oh, Cooper's Cave, man. Get out of here. And I made her. All right, we're going to take shots from the, what are these, Rangers? Yep. Rangers into the Land Raider. It was either the Land Raider or the Defiler, and, you know, it might as well focus fire on the Land Raider. So uh, we're going to have, I think, eight shots, because you have this big, long thingy. And then the plasma weapon thingy, I don't know what that is. So uh, okay, eight shots on. coming up. So eight shots coming in the Land Raider. Hitting on threes, I think. And re-rolling that one, I would imagine. Re-rolling that one. Four. Oh, two. I love two. Two's the best. And uh, wounded on sixes. This is only like strength three or four, right? Yep. Strength four. <gasps> one Coopers. Two Coopers. Two Coopers. All right. So we've got two up saves. All right. Go Land Raider. And then we've got the Arkachakapa. The Transuranic. Archibus. Yeah, that word. Have you won? Hits. And if you roll a six, it's a mortal wound, is that right? Uh, six up, yep, six plus to wound is a mortal wound. Uh, it's strength seven. So a five to wound here. Is that a T8? Oh, no! So that inflicts... A mortal wound in addition, addition to my D3 wounds. All right, so it's a minus two, so I'm at a four up. And I made her, so yeah. just a mortal wound on there. Whew! That brings us down to 12. If I can find the 12. Yeah. And then the arc rifle coming in. And on the three, nice shot. And strength six. So a five to wound. Oh. Uh, all right. 
And uh, I think that's everybody, right? These guys are out of range. Yep, arc only rifles. Yep, and the, their arc rifles out of range. Cool. So uh, you got any charges, my my good friend? No. Cool. Let's go on the. No. All right. Let me. Uh, so we've got the priests. They're gonna no guts, no glory into the land raider. I've got four last cannon shots going in on sixes, and I've got six heavy bolter shots going in on sixes. Oh no, I need to look up the stats now. Straight five! Wounds on a three, wounds, and you get a five up, followed by a five up to ignore. So that's a two. <clears throat> oh, there it is. So bring them on in. I think we said you needed a nine, yeah? Oh my goodness gracious, Cooper! All right, we got 22 dice coming in. Hitting on three. All right, we had seven miss, so uh, now we're winning on fives with the rest because math. I think it's 15. I want to be 15. One, two, three, four? Yeah, four. Four. That's not too bad. And I got a four up save, but these are two damage apiece, right? Uh, D3 damage. Wow, well, uh, okay. okay. And two D3 damage. Uh, box Big money. Oh, okay. Two. No, the All big right. whammy. So we go down to 10. I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it was a pretty successful turn. You, you clomped up the field a decent amount. I mean, these guys are way up. And you stopped this thing shooting for a turn, which is huge. Mm -hmm. And uh, you did two more wounds than I did. So, I mean, that's two that's something. Two. You know, yeah, that's not bad. Um, but uh, let's see if I can re retaliate on turn two with obliterators. Because I have those. Yes, you have those. You know, obliterators. Because I'm an idiot. But anyways, uh, we'll see what happens on... What are these? Iron Warriors. Turn two. All right, to start things off, we're going to drop these guys about three inches out. I don't know why I got British all of a sudden. It's interesting how that works. Um, he, look at him. Look at him standing on that. It's going to be great when I move the Land Raider. And everything's going to fall. Oh, guess who didn't attack with his Land Raider? <laughs> this idiot. Let's go see the uh, stats on that. I was like, oh my god, six attacks, strength, th oh wait, it's hitting on sixes. Because it's a vehicle and it's not a truck. Because trucks hit on fives, mm -hmm. which is hysterical. Anyways, uh, so we got one hit, one hit. And we are wounding on a two. And you have yourself a five up save, is that right? Yep. Because you have that crazy invuln, and then you ignore wounds on a five as well. So hey, don't need it. All right, see? See what happens? The dice just say, why are you even rolling? So possessed are just going to wrap, thank you, Mr. Tim. And we're going to stay and... I think it's an inch away or something like that. I don't know if it's Sigmar three inches. I honestly haven't played 40k in a while. Um, I think I just need to be an inch One out. Inch away. Right? And, and I'm moving terrain too. These these possessors are very strong. They're just like pipes. What are we, look at this. Oh, pipe. Down the way. Stupid pipe. And uh, we're gonna um, stay clear or uh, stick with the objective here. So six will get us freaking buildings. Six, and then six, so we're just going to take this Land Raider, plow through all of these walls, and he's going to he's gonna go over here. Why? Some, somehow. Y you know, I mean, these buildings are nice buildings. You hang out, see what's going on. I, I, I deliberated on this a lot. I'm going to move this Demon Prince over here. Uh, we're going to try and help take out these Electro Priests, because I'm, I'm terrified of them actually killing these Possessed and then turning into super-powered Electro Priests. I was going to go up here... Try and get close to these rangers, but um, it, it's going to be about a 10-inch charge, and I just, I cannot weather this shooting attack. It just can't happen. Um, I was going to go over there, too, and that was about a 9, but I, I don't know if I can take those guys out in combat. So, uh, hey, I actually have a psychic phase. How about that? So, let's start there. We're going to throw Diabolic Strength on himself. Uh, it's Warp Charge 6. He's going to uh, give him plus 2 strength and plus 1 attack. And he got a 9, so... He is diabolically strengthened. Forge Fiend is going to start off, start, uh, actually, in the uh, end of the movement phase. I'm going to throw down my uh, obliterators, Tim, and uh, he's going to heal the Land Raider uh, D3. So, two. So he goes back up to 12, if you wouldn't mind. Thank you, Mr. Tim. And these, these, uh, these obliterators are coming down because I remembered. Yeah. Yay, obliterators! Uh, I was thinking about going after this thing, but this game is about des desecrating that, so uh, I figured 
And I could have gone up here and have the Castellans just come over and wreck their face. Not that they can't just come this way. But anyways, we're gonna we're gonna plop these guys here and see what we can do about these um catafronts. Alright, Forge Fiend, eight shots, Rust Stalkers, here we go, hitting on fives. We've got one, two, three hits, and we're strength eight. You are toughness three, if I remember correctly. Correct. And we're wounding on twos. We've got three wounds, Mr. Tim, at a minus one save. Minus one. What's that? Two. Two wounds. So two, right, two fails, two damage apiece, so two of them die. You could pick whichever ones you want. Boop, boop. We're sick of these robots, so the Predator is going to light them up. Uh, hitting on... He didn't move, so hitting on fours. Because you're minus one to hit, because you're difficult to see. I got one hit. Um, these last cannons just aren't doing it for, for me today. Uh, strength nine, so winning on a three. There's a wound, and I believe it's minus three, Mr. Tim. Um, mm -hmm. So you'll have, what, a five up? Five up. All right. <laughs> oh. All right. So, D6 damage a piece. Uh, for three. And these guys have, what, four or five wounds or something like that? Six wounds. Six wounds. All right, so I brought one down to three. So we're going to do the auto cannon into the Rust Stalkers and the battle cannon into the Castellans. So we're going to start off with the Rust Stalkers. I'm hitting on a five. Uh, no hits. No, you're not. What's that? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> and D6 shots into the Robots for three. And we're hitting on fives for one. And I believe this is strength eight. For, uh, yeah, you know what? Never mind. You know, Defiler, you're doing great. Just stand over there. Just just stand there. You're cool. All right, so we're going to try these Obliterators. This is the first time I've ever shot with them. I shouldn't say that, because now I'm going to roll ones for every D3. But uh, their strength, six plus D3. We're shooting over into here. Um, so we... Oh, that's strength, nine. Uh, it's minus D3 AP, so minus two AP, and D3 wounds apiece. So three wounds apiece. You know what? That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad at all. <laughs> All right, I am within 12 inches, so I don't get a minus one. These are assault three, or assault four, and I'm hitting Ballista skill three. So uh, let's shoot them up. And I am strength nine, Mr. Tim. What's your toughness on these guys? So we're wounding on threes for toughness five. And jeepers. jeepers. That was a ton of wounds. Let me pull this in here. So we've got five, six, seven, eight at minus two. So we've got eight at minus two. That becomes a six up save, Mr. Tim. We've got one. So they're three damage a piece. Dead, dead, dead. Hey, first blood. Look at that. Boop. Gonzo. Wow, these guys are brutal. That was, I think that was a little bit lucky rolling, but these guys are brutal. So that brings us over to the charge phase. So uh, I'm going to, because I like to roll dice, Demon Prince. Woo. And then uh, these guys. Woo. We're going to start out with the Possessed. Uh, they're D3 attacks apiece for two. That's not too bad. I have seven, so that's 14 attacks. Whew. All right, so we've got 14 attacks. Ow. Spiky bits. And I see three sixes in there, so that's three additional attacks for Death of the Fault's Emperor. Uh, so three extra hits, and I got three ones here. One, two, mm -hmm. three. Let's see if I get any sixes out of that. Nope. So I missed two out of 17 attacks. <laughs> um, so they are strength five, so we're winning on threes. <clears throat> and I see three misses, four misses. So you have that many five up saves. We got a five up in and a five up to ignore. Four, that's not too bad. <clears throat> and then that ignore. For an additional one. They have uh, one or two wounds apiece. One wound apiece, so six go down. So that leaves five left in the unit. Timmy is electing to spend the two command points to interrupt, um, which I think is a really good idea, because I think this guy is just going to wipe them out. All right, they are going to swing at the possessed. So we got ten attacks hit on threes. That was not the time that for four misses. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> so they're strength five. Uh, they're going to wound on threes. Oh, okay. Oh. So I've got three five up saves to make. And I make none, so they're D3 apiece. Uh, do them one at a time. Because uh, if you get a one, somebody's not dead. So the next guy's dead. Yep, go ahead. So he dies, and then. That guy dies as well. So we'll pull, he's the banner, technically. 
So we'll pull this guy over here. All right, it's ouch time. Uh, this guy's got eight attacks. He's got four Five base, five. plus three from Malef two malefic talons, plus one from diabolic strength. He's strength nine, hitting on twos, re-rolling ones. This is just bad, bad news bears. So uh, hitting on twos. That's all hits, and we're strength eight. So wounding on twos. I think he's strength eight. He's more than six. And that many, I believe they're minus two. And uh, I didn't roll any sixes, so no mortal wounds for his uh, warlord trait, but uh, we've got seven, five up, five up. Oh, there was a five in there. Yep. And then uh, they're two damage apiece, so you gotta roll eight. And five up to ignore. One, two, three. Nope, that's, that's just still... enough. Just enough to yep. peel them. I'm gonna send these guys up to harass some rangers. And we're on to Timmy's turn two. Uh, I actually did a decent turn there. Wiped out those guys, wiped out these guys. Um, we're getting dangerous close to your rangers. Um, uh... And I've got a big fat land raider sitting on that objective. So Timmy's got some work he's got to do. So what's your plan here, Tim? You got any canticles you're going to do? Uh, canticle, uh, for canticle that I'm going to do... I actually had it in my head, but I don't remember. <laughs> um, you know what? I'm going to do Invocation of Machine Might, which is plus one strength. Okay, cool. So everything's so, got plus one strength that has canticles. Hopefully get those robots in the combat with Yeah, them. definitely. <clears throat> so... We're gonna First shift. Things, I'm gonna shift my dude guys vanguard over here. Cool. And shifted they have. All right. All right, what's next? Next up is going to be uh, Rust Stalkers. And they go eight. Yep. Moving on him on the bullhorn. And then robots. And then he goes six. Yep. Cool. So these guys just shuffled a little bit, so they uh, almost all of them are in rapid fire range of the possessed. And uh, I think it's time for the shooting phase. Well, uh, before the shooting phase, oh, at before? the end of the movement phase, my cybernetic data smith is going to heal D three on my Castellan. <laughs> Back up to full. <laughs> <sighs> All right, we've got a bunch of shots coming from these guys. Into the Oblitz. Hitting on threes, right? Yep. That's a lot of, that's a lot of hits. Strength three against toughness four to five! That wasn't too bad. That wasn't bad at all. Okay, so no AP here, but the six is two damage instead of one. So uh, we'll try to save the six on a two. Oh, I saw that one. Oh. I saw that one. And then twos. And we're Plasma Culver next. Hits. Right? Yep. And then, um... Oh, no, that's for, uh, attacks. So three. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. This is D6. Dang. Three hitting on fours. There's one hit. Yep. And, uh, what's your strength, good sir? Strength seven. That's a three to wound. And you got any AP on that? AP minus three. Minus three. So we go to a five-up save. And no. Damage? One. One? Okay. So one of them takes a wound, goes down to two. And then you have, what, an arc rifle next? Is that right? Yes. All right. <clears throat> All right. Arc rifle. Hitting on three. Negatory. Nope. So we got a Volkite Blaster coming from the Tech Priest. Hitting on twos. There's three hits. What's your strength on this? Six. Threes to wound, good sir. Any sixes is a mortal wound as well as any other damage. So we've got uh, three wounds here and a two-up save. So this guy goes down to one wound. Boop. So an eradication array from this one all the way over here, just in range. So D3 hit, D3, one. One, and he's hitting on a two as well. Because yep. he didn't move. And of course, you want to re-roll it or keep it? I'll keep it. So 15 shots into these dudes here, hitting on threes. All right, these guys are T4 versus Strength 4 rifles, so we're looking at fours here. I see one, two, three, four, five. 
Looks like five. five. You got any AP on this, my friend? Oh, jeez. Uh, all right, three up safe. And one guy takes a move. Uh, this guy goes down to one. Archibus next. And that's a hit. Uh, but strength seven. No, oh, so threes. Threes. Oh. No. And then the arc rifle? Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't know what this thing does. Nothing. No. We got a big old flamer coming into this forge fiend here. So it's heavy D6. Okay. Ooh. Strength five, toughness seven, five to wound. And we've got, no, Nothing. geez. Get rid of these dice, Tim. All right, this guy can just barely see this predator. So uh, he's doing his laser. Neutron laser. D3 shots. For two. Okay. It's not bad. I'll take All right. it. And uh, what you hitting on, my friend? Uh, hitting on threes. Threes to hit. Two hits. And I am toughness seven. Strength ten. That's a three to wound. All right, what's your minus? Minus four AP. Uh, he's got a three up save, so that's 2d6 damage. <laughs> <clears throat> big money, big money, no whammy. Four. It's Brings like him down to five. And we, uh, we forgot to say we were going to do shots over here, but uh, we totally set it beforehand, so... Uh, three to hit, yeah. Yep. Toughness four. Strength four. Mm, force of wound. AP on this? Uh, no AP. Yeah. Nope, we're good. Right. Now, Orangey. See if you can pop this predator. D3 shots. Oh, that's a cool. Threes to hit. There's two hits again. Okay. And threes to wound, no saves. Oh, you want to reroll one? Yes. All right, that's probably a good idea. <laughs> oh my goodness oh. gracious! Man, we're bad at saying this. He he is gonna shoot over here as well. So uh, three to hit. Oh yeah, that's actually better. And then four to wound. And we got two wounds again with a two up save. Oh hey, snake eyes. So this guy dies, and we'll have this one go down to two. Uh, we totally forgot, he was going to do the combat protocol here. Um, so on a two up, that happens. And of course, so for charge phase, we're going to have this guy go into the forge fiend. Um, I will overwatch, but go ahead and uh, roll your charge. You need ten. <gasps> you want to re-roll it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, sorry, I have to do this, but I'm hitting on sixes. Uh, strength eight. Uh, I got one hit, and I think you're toughness seven? Yep. So, no one there. Okay, that's not bad. That's not board. Send the Rust Stalkers into the Forge Fiend. Let's try this this time. Alright, you need a two to wound. That's a wound, and I believe it's a minus one. Five up save! Ooh! Oh, Alright, so we got an eight inch charge into this guy, Mr. Tim! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I apologize for every complaint that I've had this entire oh game. My God. So, I guess it's my turn three. Um, oh my goodness. Uh, Tim's dice have betrayed him, but uh, we'll see We'll see if he can pick it back up. We'll, we'll see. So, uh, Iron Warriors turn three. We're going to have these guys shuffle this way to uh, get some shots on the big thing over there. Um, have Possessed do what they do best, run straight at things and smack them in the face. Because who doesn't love smacking things in the face? And this guy will go up six. And then go up an additional six to about there. Psychic phase, we're going to turn Diabolic Strength back on uh, with a seven. Boop. Oh, and I'm going to nudge models like a dirty cheater. We're going to start off our shooting phase with Mr. Uh, Big Guns into the Castellans. We've got four shots hitting on five fours because you're still minus one to hit and Jesus dice just flying all over the place what do I get here what do I get and that's a two so we got one hit which strength nine you're talking seven so a three to wound that's a wound on a castellan at minus three minus three so you get your five up save right yeah. and if you get a six it goes back in my face negatory so d6 damage with a reroll <laughs> because I'm using a command point on that 
for five. Um, I guess I didn't declare the heavy bolters, so uh, six shots into the Castellan. Um, hitting on threes. And we've got, whoops, that was a four. We've got five hits, and strength five versus toughness, I believe, seven. So five to wound. Uh, we got one wound at a minus one. Mr. Tim, minus one, and you're good. So I totally forgot there's a minus one to hit, um, but I didn't do any damage anyway, so we're good. We're going to do the auto cannons into the Rust Stalkers. We've got uh, fives to hit with a minus one. Looks like two hits. And then two's the wound for two wounds. Uh, minus one to your save, Tim. Two wounds. On the Castellans again? The Rust Stalkers. Rust Stalkers. And fail one, so one guy plinks. Yep. Four last cannons from the Predators into the Castellans. Hitting on fours because you hurt it real bad. And I'm within 12 inches. I screwed up with the minus one here, but that's okay. Um, so hitting on fours. Uh, three, three hits. Um, and strength nine versus toughness seven is threes to wound. Just one wound at minus three. So you're five up in bone, yeah? Yeah. And, oh, I take a mortal wound. Goes down to four. That's what I get for trying to shoot them. Reaper auto cannon into these sick... Doomcrawlers? Dust stalkers? Rust stalkers. Rust stalkers. Jeepers. And the battle cannon into the Castellans. So the auto cannon first, hitting on fours. Uh, two hits there. And wounding on twos, because your toughness three. So one wound and a minus one on those rust stalkers. <clears throat> Whoa. Nope. Nope, uh, just one wound. And the battle cannon is heavy D6. So two shots. And we're looking at... Uh, sorry, fours. Jeepers. No wounds, or no hits there. I'm like, geez, I've totally forgotten. Like, I'm done shooting. That says it. Oh, all right. Uh, so we got eight shots from these guys. And they are strength six, uh, strength nine. AP minus two. Two damage a piece this time. So we've got four eight shots going into that thing over there. I'm definitely more than 12 inches away, so hitting on fours. One, two hits, and we're strength nine. You're not toughness nine, so with three. No wounds. Wow. Whew. Peel the unit over here. Nah, you know, I don't feel like shooting at that thing. So we got a five inch charge from the possessed, but you got a ton of overwatch. All right, 16 shots going into these possessed. We're hitting on sixes. I see one, two. There's Cooper's two. two over there. Three. Oh, three. Dang. Winning on fours. And we're looking at one. And I made her. Rifle. Oh, so close. And then the big gun. Hey, oh. look at that. Uh, I think he's strength seven, right? Yep. So three to wound. No. Four. Five inch charge. Here we go. Oh, wait. They're not orcs. Oh, that's a three. Huh. Do I re-roll that one to a three? Do I use my last command point? I think I'm gonna. All right, cool, six, I mean. That leaves us, I think we said it was an eight-inch charge, yeah? Yep, eight-inch charge with the Inferno. All right. And we got her. <sighs> Fixing the fact that I cheated, because they were way beyond two inches. <laughs> All right, we're gonna swing with the Possessed first. D3 attacks a piece, uh, just one. So there's five there. So one. Two, three, four, and five. They are hitting on threes, re-rolling ones. No sixes. And they are strength five. Your toughness three. One wound at a minus two. One six up save. Oh, so one guy peels. Would you oh you don't have two command points. Never mind. Eight attacks from the big baddie himself. Hitting on twos, re-rolling ones. There's no one, but there is a six in there, so we get an extra attack. And these are strength nine, so definitely twos to not kill, because I think he's only minus two. So let's pull these ones out of here, and we have a five as well. So six, six up save. Six up save! Oh. Okay, six go down. Six. Timmy will pile in here and he'll uh, swing back. One guy in the Demon Prince. Uh, hits on a four, yeah. Yep. And strength six, six, six. three, I would imagine. Yeah. I think you're in sixes here. Nope. Not fours. 
And then two guys swinging in possessed. One hit. No wounds. This is straight dice for morale, because uh, leadership seven, seven guys died. And there goes the unit. So I will, oh, I can't consolidate. There's the end of, bippity bop. Oh no. Oh no. Your demon prince is right out in the open. Oh, I think, oh, I think he did. I think he did. So that's the end of turn three for Iron Warriors. I want to call them Warrior Smiths. And that's definitely no one. <laughs> sounds like a, uh, a, a chapter from the Iron Warriors. What is that called? When, you, when there's a chapter underneath it. Sub it's, subsidiary chapter? Yeah, something like that. Jeez, my brain is just not on it today. It's because we're together. Ugh. Both drunk. Right? So, um, peeled off a dude there. Uh, got that Castellan down to one wound, but don't worry, he'll be back. Um, <laughs> peeled the whole unit off of here. And uh, now it's on to turn three for the Admech. They're starting to thin, but I think we've got a good Warlord kill coming on. For so first up, Rustarkers are moving up. Moving on up. Look at that Predator. And the Castellans next. Yep. Oh, I just had some seltzers. I'm so burpy. So many burps. Probably gonna have to run that guy to keep him. Yep. Keep him up there. And we got an advance. Ooh, oh, yeah, he's yeah, got plenty he's... of room. Boop. And uh, these guys are gonna shuffle. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Sh oh boy. Oh. Whoops! Punchy fist protocol. Let's try that. Two up. Oh, oh my gosh! Did he put him up? You know, I'm gonna use my last command point. <laughs> oh. All right, go. cool. So they're punchy fist now. And the canticles are the chant of the remorseless. Fist? Chance of the Remorseless Fist, we yeah. roll uh, ones in combat. So if he, he doesn't kill these, one. it's going to be ridiculous. <laughs> yep. We get to burn those dice. But anyways... And then also at the end of the fight phase, uh, the end of the movement phase... Oh, yes. D3. Data Smith. For one. Not what I want to. Uh, it's better than zero. Sure. Oh, I totally forgot mine with the Lamb Raider. Whoops. All right, we're going to see if these Flamers can take on this Predator. So 2d6 hits. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Strength five, so we're looking for five. One, two, three, four, five. Jeepers. What's your AP on this? Minus okay. one. Minus one. So we're looking at a four up save for Mr. Predator. One, two, three, four. He's dead. Flamers took it out. Just melted everything down. Let's see if he blows up. Oh! He does not. Dun, dun, that dun, took too long. Dun, 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 dun. We've got a gamma pistol going into the forge fiend here. Hitting on a three. That's a six. And mm. your strength's six, right? Yep. Uh, so five to wound. Whoa. Oh. But since it's going up against a vehicle, I can reroll this. Oh, okay. Yep. That's oh, so close. Top. 24 shots from these fine fellows into the Demon Prince. Hitting on threes. Oh boy, that was really good. Sixes, but they're two damage apiece. Oh boy. So many, so close. So, uh, look at all those freaking fives. Ah! <laughs> all right, so I got a three up. And, nope, he takes two damage. Two shots from the arc rifle. And we've got two hits, string six, fours to wound. And do we know the AP on this one? Uh, AP minus two. Two? All right, I'll roll it up and see if it matters. Uh, I got a six and a four, so it doesn't matter. Only AP minus one, so that was a save. So we've got one other gun in here, and I don't remember what it is. My plasma Colbert. That's the one. D6 shots, right? Yep. Heavy D6, but you've got, uh, you move, so you're going to be at a minus one. And we're supercharging, ladies and gentlemen. D6. D6 shots. Oh! All right, so if you roll a one, he's dead, but hit on fours. Oh! This is two. Yeah, this two is not bad. And wounding on threes. He is dead. No. Two threes, and what's your AP on this one? AP. AP minus three, two damage brings me in on a five up demon save. And I save one and fail one, so he goes down to four. So we're gonna shoot this eradication thingamajigger into the demon prince. Hitting on a two, or is it heavy, heavy D3? Heavy D3, he didn't move. For one, hitting on a two? Yeah. Alright, there's a hit. What's your strength? Strength six. Uh, four to wound. Oh, so all right. This guy is gonna unload his shots in here. D three. Oh my goodness! And a three to hit, yeah. Yep. And that's a hit. What's your strength? Uh, strength ten. 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 So three to wound. Oh, my goodness gracious! 
six shots from the, <laughs> the Cognus Stubber. Hitting on three. Ooh, five hits, that's not bad. And then these are strength what? Four. Alright, so five to wounds here. So two wounds. We've got ourselves a three up save. And we fail one, so it goes down to three. Down to three, down to three. Alright, he's doing it. It's gonna happen. I mean, I hope it doesn't, but it's gonna happen. There's three. So you should have started with that one. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a hit. Strength 10. Don't you roll that two again. Don't do it. Alright, and what's the AP on this? Uh, minus AP four? minus four. So I got a five up demon save. Uh oh. Uh oh, Mr. Tim. <laughs> Let's see if the stubber can do it. Hit on three. And we got four hits. That's more than enough. Four is to wound. One wound. And I fail it. So he goes down to two. The stubbers did more than the laser. <laughs> Strength 10 laser. <sighs> Robots into the Forge Fiend. I got eight Overwatch shots. And I failed them all. Roll them up. Six will definitely get you there. Robot over here. Robot over there. No stalkers coming in. That's an eight. They're good. So we're going to do robots and then robots because they have the conquer protocol on. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Yeah, something like that. So uh, we're going to have them fight twice. Why don't you just roll them all at the same time? Um, because I don't have any command points to interrupt. So it's going to be 12 strength 10 attack? Yep. Yep. Hit on fours. <clears throat> and you do plus one to hit? Or what, what was your canical? Uh, Reroll ones? Ones. All right. Toughness seven, strength ten, three is two, wound. Oh, that's a lot of wounds. Five up demon save. I made two, so four go through. What's the damage on that? Damage three. Three, six, nine, twelve. I'm pretty sure he does not have twelve wounds. He has twelve wounds exactly. So uh, on a six, he goes boom. He does not go boom. There goes the Forge Fiend. Goodbye. Opting to not pile in um, or consolidate or any of that stuff just to not pull the defiler in. Because um, then I'd be able to swing and that, that, wouldn't, that wouldn't feel good. So, uh, Tim, that was, a, that was a pretty solid turn. That was a solid turn. <laughs> <laughs> um, you almost got the Demon Prince. You're so close. Um, but you've cleared out two big vehicles over here. Um, you got to weather two other big vehicles, but... Uh, it was a pretty solid turn. How are you feeling after that? Not bad? Not bad. Not bad. Cool. So we'll uh, go on to Chaos turn four. Start off by moving these here dudes. Um, they're going to go and hang out with some... What are these? Rangers or Vanguard? Vanguard. Vanguard. I Killed always... the Rangers last time. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to just send these guys right up here. Remember that time we forgot about uh, Lord of the Machine Cult? Yeah, you know, uh, oh. re-roll ones. <laughs> I don't honestly remember if he got any. I think he got at least two. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsies. So we're going to send this Demon Prince to about here. He's going he's gonna to go play with some Dune Crawlers. We're going to move this uh, Obliterator squad. Uh, take this guy and destroy some terrain. Bring him over to here. And stay half an inch or an inch away. I remember I don't know an inch away. And this guy is gonna just... Hey, Land Raider! Boop! I'm oh, no, wait. You. I can't heal you from in there. So he's just gonna go over there. End of the movement phase, we're gonna have the Warp Smith uh, heal this Land Raider for two. It's going back up to 14. Psychic phase, we're gonna do some Diabolic Strength again. On a six. Got her. Wasn't that uh, Jimmy Neutron's dog? Got her. Shooting phase. We're going to have the uh, Land Raider send the Heavy Bolter into these two and the Twin Last Cannon into the um, Big Robots. So we're going to start with the Bolter. Hitting on threes. Three to moon, minus one. And I got three wounds. Timmy, you're sitting on a five up save with those Rust Stalkers. <clears throat> one tree. Three wounds. All right, one of them, one of them drops. One of oh, them no. drops and has a one down. So you want to just, yeah, just shift it over. Last can of shots into the robots. Hit on threes. 
And that's four hits. And we are wounding on threes. And we've got three wounds. And you have a minus three, so it looks like you're five up. Robot save, Mr. Tim. No sixes. Zero sixes. Okay, cool. So one robot. D6 damage. So that first one's dead. And then two D6 damage. And three on the second one. See if the robot blows up. Oh, he does. Everything within three inches. So it's going to be him. That Ross Stalker's out of the way. And this thing here. So D3 on this guy. Uh, for two. And D3 on... Nope, just this guy. Oh, just that guy. Yeah. D3. Uh, D3 on him. For two as well. I don't know if we're right or wrong with this, but I'm saying that the robot can't hurt its own unit. I, tell me if that's wrong in the comments. Um, just, just let me know. But uh, two damage on him brings him down to two. Two damage on him brings him down to 12 wounds. Defiler's gonna throw his autocannon shots into that last Rust Stalker, see if we can peel him off. Uh, hits on fours, because he's a Defiler, and wounds on twos. Two wounds at minus one. Five up! And that oh, peels him. Peels him. And the battle cannon into the robot. I am hitting on fives because I moved. I only got one hit with the auto cannon because I forgot he moved. So uh, let's see if that wounds. And it does wound. Throw him in that five up save. Ah, he died anyways. All right. So I want to. I want to make it right. Last shots into that big dude thingy. So we've got <laughs> strength six plus one, so strength seven. AP minus one, and three damage. So they're not very strong, but they hurt like hell. So we're hitting on threes. Oh, that wasn't great. That was five misses. And wounding on fours, because I'm strength seven at the moment. So I got one at minus one. Four up save. And there's three damage. <laughs> Goes down to six. Yep. I am going to combo charge into the robot and the data smith. Overwatch. Pistol shot. Hits on a six. Oh! Strength six, right? Yep. So five to wound. I'm pretty sure it's coming to seven. Two definitely won't do it. No, no, no. Oh, you get to reroll, right. Oh. One definitely won't do it. <laughs> and then D6 from the flamer. One. There's a hit automatically. And yeah, two's not going to do. So, uh, hey, look, I made it. Get the claw right in there. Let's get in there. Swing it. We're gonna have the Demon Prince charge this thing, and I can't wait to die to Overwatch. It's gonna be awesome. So you're doing the Stubber first? Stubber's first. That's the only thing that does anything. <laughs> oh, there's a hit. Four to wound, right? Oh. Oh. All right, D3. Get that six again. Two. Oh, oh so close. And we're gonna... So we're gonna send these guys in. So 24 shots from the Vanguard? Yeah, Vanguard. Sixes. Oh, that wasn't bad. And fives to wound, because you're strength three. Timmy. <laughs> no! <laughs> you bring these dice back to Cooper's right now. Arc rifle hitting on sixes! Or no. not. And I'm going seven. So we will just. Ba -da -ba -da, ba -da -ba -da, going seven. Ba -da -ba -da, ba -da -ba -da, go We're gonna do the Demon Prince first because I think that robot has a good chance of doing a decent chunk of change on that um, defiler. Whatever the heck that thing over there is called. So I have eight attacks from this guy. He's hitting on twos, re-rolling ones, and he gets extra attacks per six and re-rolling ones, I guess. Um, so, and these attacks do not generate further attacks. Yep. And he's strength nine, toughness seven, uh, threes to wound. So that many at minus two. Minus two! Uh, it's two saves, so it's two, four, six, eight wounds. Takes him down to three, and I will swing with the Defiler next. All right, Defiler's gonna swing with his claws at the robot and his uh, scourge at... Data Smith? Yeah. Data Smith. So uh, he's hitting on fours. And that's three hits, and he strength 16, so uh, he wounds on twos. Uh, two wounds at minus three. 
So you got your five up invuln, right? No, six up save. Six up? Or is the invuln only shooting? Uh, six up save! Oh, save one. Uh, D6 damage for one. Oh. Goes down to two. He's fine. All right, so we've got the Scourge going into the data of Smith. Hitting on fours. Uh, that's two hits. And strength 12. So two's to wound. There's one wound at minus three. Minus two. So you've got a four-up save. Oh, and that's three damage. So he goes down. He's down. Well, thanks, Timmy, for uh, reminding me how this game is played. I charge, so I get to go first. Jeez, I totally forgot. All right, D3 attacks for two, so ten attacks. That's six, seven, and eight, nine, and ten. And we are hitting on threes. Rerolling ones, because we're close to the Demon Prince. And four extra attacks, <laughs> because you're a dirty Imperial jerk. Rerolling ones. Wow, that's ridiculous. Okay, uh, and we're wounding on threes because I'm strength five. Uh, so let's take that, that, and that, and you're at minus two. I think that gives you a six up. Six and save. Oh wow. Oh geez, only four go down. Yep. Not bad. <clears throat> One, two, three, and four. Great. Six attacks from the robot because he gets to swing twice. What are you hitting on fours? Uh, yes. yes. <clears throat> and you are strength uh, oh. 10. So that's a threes. Three of them at minus three. Pretty sure that gives me a five up. Five up save for being a demon. I made them all, 10. I, I made all three. So close! I made all three of them. Tim, please come back to my house. I love you. <laughs> I love you I so much. I killed it! <laughs> I love you so much. Alright, so the Doom Caller next gets D3 attacks because it's so wounded. Three attacks? He doesn't care about those wounds. He's like, whatever. Jerks. Fives to hit. Rerolling ones because you're uh, doing and crawl like. Oh my gosh. What's his strength? Uh, strength six. Four to wound. Good sir. With one wound. Any AP or anything? or uh. No? Alright. He did a wound. How come it can't do a wound with a strength 10 laser? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you see these pokey legs? These pokey legs are better than that giant gun. You know, because... That makes sense. Because logic. We're going to pile in the vanguard. And we got six attacks hitting on what? Fours? Sitting on fours. Hitting on fours. Reeling ones, but there's no ones. And they are strength three, so we're going to have fives. Two wounds. Oh. oh, that's not flat. I don't like not flat dice. All right, two saves. Well, that's the end of my turn four. So, uh, I, gosh, I, I think you got him dead. Morale as well. Oh, you've got to do morale. Yeah, you lost four. Yeah. So, uh, D6 plus four. So, that's nine. So, two more go. Oh, no, no, no. That's so scary. So, uh, I think I have a good chance of killing my warlord here. Absolutely. Um, you can do some hefty damage to that defiler, but you gotta kill these obliterators. Because you kill these obliterators and you'll tie this game up. You kill the obliterators, these guys, and the warlord, you'll tie this game up. I think you have a chance. Things, these, these friggin' dice need to actually do something, but you have a chance. So, let's go on to, uh, Admec turn four. Uh, so, he's gonna scoot over there. Um, you're gonna move these guys at all? Um, I can't move him back and shoot. Right. So I might as well just leave him. Well, there. he does better in combat, anyways. So obviously. <laughs> I mean, he's fine where he is. Yeah. Because he'll be charging in, and he's just going to shoot the crap out of them, hopefully. Absolutely. And he's going to stay in combat, and obviously. He's stay in combat. So, uh, uh, shooting phase. Shooting phase. Dialing up six six shots into these obliterators, re-rolling ones, because the I dude do guy. Yeah. Well, no, the dude guy is... The dude guy is right there. Oh, we gotta do candle with those two, but we'll get there. Uh, so threes to hit. And, alright, there you go. Hey, see, remember rules? That's what happens. <laughs> and, uh, threes to wound, because you're uh, strength six, yeah? Or no, you're strength four, so four to wound. How are these things better than the friggin' <laughs> the giant neutral laser. friggin' laser of friggin' death? Look at this, five ones. 
Or no ones. Or no ones. So we're doing Invocation of Machine Might for the Canticles of the Ominous Psy. Ha! Oh, so uh, now we have the Neutron Laser into the Obliterators for two shots. Hitting on threes, we're rolling ones. Oh! Ah! Strength 10, yeah? Yep. Uh, two's to wound. And the AP is what? Minus three on this or minus, minus four? Three. Minus three? Alright, so I got a five up demon save. Regardless. Oh, I failed them both. Oh, I definitely. Uh, minus four. Oh yeah, yeah, I failed them both. So D six damage, roll them one at a time. Uh, kills the first guy. Kills the second guy. Nice job. I finally did something. <laughs> Yay! Look, a neutron laser works. Are you gonna charge these guys in? Yep, he's gonna go. Yeah, he can too. Yeah, oh yeah, he made it. <laughs> this guy, you don't need to roll, but you can. Look at that, you rolled. Do you want to send him in anywhere, or you want to keep him I think I'm going to keep him out. All right. And uh, he's already in here, so yep. let's do these two chargers. All right, we're swinging into the Demon Prince. All right. Hit. Hitting on what? Threes or twos? Threes. Threes? Okay. And uh, you're trying six, so fours to wound. Oh, there's a wound. Minus one. Or minus two, yeah? Minus two. So that brings me to a five up. Ah, no. I forgot, we're going to repair this guy for D3. For two. So he goes up to five. He is going to swing into the possessed, hitting on threes. Uh, do you reroll ones just for hitting, or is it for shooting, shooting phase. phase? Okay. So uh, strength six, so wounding on threes. One wound there, and I get a five up. Uh, so one guy is dead. All right, we're going to do a Doom Crawler into the Demon Prince. So D3 attacks. Oh no. Oh no! Hit on fives! Do it, Tim. Oh! Uh, swing with the Castellan! Oh, one, two, and one. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. This big bad boy is gonna swing back at that Castellan because he's terrifying. Um, and I got one hit, strength 16 wounds on a two. And I got a wound there, and it's minus a bunch, so you get your six up save. I'm pretty sure is what we said before. Uh, nope. So that is d6 damage. For He's six. Gone. Uh, roll me a explodes. Or don't explode, rather. <laughs> no. Don't okay. explode. Beep. Oh, yep, you go ahead. Four attacks into the possessed here, hitting on fours. For two hits, and we're wounding on five. For no wounds there. Um, we're just gonna swing right with, back with these possessed here. We've got, oh boy, 12 attacks coming your way. So, uh, let's see, that's six. And five and six is twelve, and we are hitting on threes, my good friend, and re-rolling ones. Uh, that was not a one. That was a three. Three. Um, and we are getting one, two, three, four, five extra attacks. Uh, one, two, three, four, four, five. Did I roll too many? Nope. No, you're right. I didn't. Jeez, I can't friggin' count today. All right, we're wounding on threes. Oh boy. So we've got nine saves of a six here, Tim. And that's the unit. Those three there. So I've got eight attacks with this Demon Prince. I think I'm just going to throw him on the Doom Crawler. Because if I do as well as I did last time, he'll he'll kill it. So we're going to hit on twos here. Rerolling ones with an extra attack from that six. And we are going to wound on threes because I'm strength nine at the moment. And, oh boy. That's All right, eight saves of uh, five? Four. Four up. Four up. One. Yeah, so that's two, four, six, eight, ten. Down he goes. Uh, six, he explodes. He does! D3 mortal wounds on this guy. Uh, just one on the demon. Oh, you're going to kill him. He's dead. How, how, how did me killing your things... <laughs> <laughs> Get you, Warlord! Yep. How did you jump? Three. Three on this guy, and D3 on these guys over here. The, this tech priest was just barely out of the way. So, one. So that guy up front will take one. Well, that was the end of uh, Timmy's turn four. Um, that was devastating. That was probably the best turn you had. Even though you lost a Castellan, you lost a big walker over there, you got Warlord, you killed these obliterators. With these two over here, you could probably take out those possessed... 
But I do have a, a battle you, cannon yeah. and, and las cannons coming at your face. So uh, turn five for the Iron Warrior. All right, first of all, this guy is getting in here because he is done just sitting back there. And then this thing is going to come out of its little hidey hole and come back to where it was before over here so we can get some range on things. This guy is going to just come over here and face that way right down the firing line. So I just noticed that Timmy and I are like, you know what, screw these fetishes. We're just, we're pissed at each other at this point. It's, it's a grudge match. We're just, we're out to kill. We're out for death. All right, so the ouch phase. <clears throat> this uh, four last cannons into the dune crawler. Uh, hitting on fours because I'm minus one to hit you. Uh, I got three hits there and threes to wound. I got three wounds, Mr. Tim. Five up save. Oh boy. Kaboom. Does he explode? Do it. Do it. Do it. No, no. I'm pretty sure I can't shoot at this guy because he's the closest and I can't shoot at him um, because he's in combat. So I'm fairly certain that I cannot target this, this guy right here because he's a character. Uh, if I'm wrong, let me know, but I'm fairly certain that's how that goes, so into combat. <laughs> to start off our combats, uh, our only combat, we have possessed uh, D3 attacks for one, so we got four attacks. They're hitting on threes, <clears throat> and I got two hits with one six, three hits, and we are strength five. What is your toughness on the dude guy there, Mr. Tim? Dude guy is toughness four. Toughness four, so threes to wound. Uh, one wound at minus two. That is a four up save. Oh, so you take one wound. Three attacks back at me. Hit on threes. And wounding on threes because you're strength six. So one wound. And I got my five up save, I'm pretty sure. And I got a six there. All right, Timmy's turn. Last turn of the game, probably. Time to peel some unit. Hey, look, you made it. Why don't you start with him? Uh, just roll them both together. That makes sense. So we're doing Litany of the Electromancer. So on a six, no, opposite. So uh, we've got, we're gonna go right into combat. We've got six attacks here. Man, we're good at this game. Plus, or uh, macro stubber? Macro stubber. Macro stubber. Five shots, hitting on twos. Rerolling ones. All right, and what's strength? Four? Strength four. All right, four to wound. And we're looking at one, two, three wounds there. You got any AP on that, Tim? Uh, no AP. So, three up save, uh, one dies. And now we're gonna go into combat, because we forgot all the rules. <laughs> so, hitting on threes, ah! Alright, hitting on threes. Uh, re no, not really long on ones. And then, uh, wounding on threes, because you strength five. Now, not six. Four wounds at minus... Two. Two, so five up saves. That's flat, or not flat, rather. So two, is there multiple damage? Uh, damage two. Okay, so two die. Boom, boom. So we're gonna swing back with this guy with one attack, and he's hitting on a three, that's not a three. So so even if I roll a six, because I do have the banner, which gives them plus one leadership, uh, their leadership nine, so they cannot run away. Random battle length on a two, one, the game's over! Nope, we go on to turn six. Movement, done. Shooting, done. Combat. Uh, he's gonna go first. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna swing at the green one, because he's your warlord, right? Yeah. Alright, so I get two attacks, and we are hitting on threes, and I get one hit, and wounding your toughness four, right? Uh, yes. Alright, so one wound at minus two. So four up. He's good. He's good. Alright, so why don't you swing back with both of them, just get him out of the way. <clears throat> Three's to hit, right? Yeah, three's. And then, uh, three's to wound. Four wounds. Okay, I should be, statistically, I should be dead. Oh, ooh, ooh, that was so close. That was so close. And that, my friends, is a draw. Because you've got Warlord, and I have first blood. And then he gets six for having his not desecrated, oh. and I get six for having mine not desecrated. Wow! That was a brutal game. Oh, it was absolutely. Well, let's see if we go on to turn seven. Hey, look, we don't. I don't care anyways. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that was brutal. Oh, man. What a great game. What a great game. This game. scenario was cool. 
Yeah, I liked it. It was cool. I think if we didn't have a shooting army versus a shooting army, we would have seen us try to actually, you know, take over the objectives. But, oh man, I thought I had you there for a while, and then all of a sudden you're, you're I got into combat, and you were like, oh, I know how to do that. Yeah, I can't apparently I can do combat, but I can't shoot. Can't shoot, but I can stomp you with my little feet. Holy cow. Well, anyways, uh, I hope you all enjoyed that. Um, it was a ton of fun to play. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. Um, you know, all that fancy stuff. Tell your friends that we're cool and whatnot. Um, let us know if we did anything wrong in the comments because it helps us to learn. Uh, helps us remember everything. Timmy, thank you so much for coming down. You'll see Tim more often, I promise. Oh, he's part of our painting thing for the, um, for the fantasy painting stuff. I'll eventually post more of <clears throat> Yeah, he's doing Dark Elves. So we'll, we'll definitely see more of Tim. Um, but thanks for watching and uh, game on.